Hello, this is Claudia Orengo, a graphic designer and illustrator from Barcelona. And in this video, I want to show you how I vectorize my paintings in Illustrator. So I have these scanned paintings that I cleaned up in Photoshop. If you don't know how to do it, I have another video showing you the previous steps to arrive here. But once you have it saved as a PNG with a transparent background or even a JPG with a white background without texture, you can bring it into Illustrator and follow these steps. So let's go and see how I do it. I simply select the file I want to work with and I drag it into Illustrator so it opens this file. Once I'm here, I select the image I want. It's, it's uh, recommendable to work only one image at a time. If you have multiple, it will not work if you select more than one. So it can be that you have the, all the images in the same file, but you have to select one, apply this, then select the next one and apply it again. So you have your image, you click it and you go, you come here to image trace. If we click it, it's going to apply automatically the default. Uh, settings which are settings for black and white illustrations so it's kind of cool the result but it's not what we're looking for so once you have this you want to come here to the panel of image trees and edit the settings if you don't have it on your screen you can go to window and go to image trees so now it's open for you and you have all these settings the first thing you want to change it's the mode you want it to be in color so every time you click anything in this panel it would take a while to apply all the changes so we need to wait and once it's applied you can automatically see the result it starts to look like the original but we can still see very clearly the shapes of the vectors and i want something more realistic so what i want to do is come to the palette and say full tone if you paint with wash or acrylics or pens it may be that you have left less shades of each color and you don't need to select as many details as i will do so what i recommend you is that you play around with the settings and see what works best for you but these are the settings that i discovered that work perfectly for my watercolor paintings now as you can see the result now it's super accurate it looks like the the original painting so i'm very happy with this but I'm going to show you a little bit more of the options that you can play with. You can add more or less colors with this bar and you can go to advanced and add paths, corners and noise. Uh, I recommend you to change each one of these bars to the lowest and to the highest ends so that you can see the changes and be sure to to check this number and when you have the result with the less size here but it still shows as you want the painting then it's what you are looking for so here i usually put the corners at 50 percent because i don't see that much of a change but it reduces the size and I don't need a lot of noise, so I will just bring it down. Now there is this ignore white check that it works pretty well. It means if you check it, it will not select any of the white areas of your drawing. But I like to keep it unchecked and then after select all the white areas that I don't want and take it uh, and delete them. So it depends on your preference. You can select it now or follow my steps on how to delete it. So once I have everything as I want it, I would come to here and press expand. Now, once we press expand, we are not going to be able to edit this anymore. So be sure that you have the result you want. You press expand, you wait a little bit and it will convert everything into vector shapes you see all these are the selection of each shape with their colors so what i do now it's i select i click 
outside of the selection and I come here to this magic wand tool I select it and if you double click you can open these preferences here and I want to select the fill color with a very low to tolerance maybe two this is what's gonna do it when I click over any color it's gonna select the same color in all your document so if you press here it selects all the white areas you see and it even selects some of the inside if I would press if I would give it a tolerance of 32, let's see the difference. It's selecting much more of the inside and I don't want all these shapes to disappear. So I want only the real white areas. So I'm gonna do it at 2, 5, it will depend. Even 10, so that it takes all these areas from here. So once you have the one you like you simply have all this selected all you have to click it's delete on your keyboard and they will all go away now if we press command a which is to select everything or you can come select all you'll see we don't have any more any of the background we only have the shape of our drawing so this to me it's how i like to present the files for download so once I have this, I would save it as an EPS and I will keep it in my folder for download. I hope you find this useful. Let us know in the comments if you like this tool or if you have any other tip for the community. So in the future videos, I'm going to show you how I bring all these into automat automatic systems that allow me to work faster and achieve the same result in all of my paintings.